everyone. Thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann. I'm an independent superstar director with Sensi. It's been about eight years since I've been doing that, and uh, I feel pretty grateful. And I wanted to share a message with you guys today that I heard this morning, and I it hit home. And I thought, you know, that's a message that needs to be shared. We have a path lined up for us in our lives. No matter what entity you believe in, whether it's the universe, whether it's God, whether it's any entity, there is a path that is lined up for you before you even get here on earth. And that path has many, many yeses along the path. And the path is going to bring you to the ultimate purpose of why you are here on this earth. We have open doors everywhere we look. Sometimes it's just a matter of seeing them to take, go through them, to take them, to take the opportunity. But here's the message that I want to share with you. Many times I have run across this premise in my life and kind of overlooked the necessity of it. And here's what it is. There are many yeses in your life. And you're probably saying, but Edie, I, I have not seen them all. I keep running up against these walls and I keep, you know, having these obstacles that I need to go around. Well, here's the key. The key is that there are multiple no's that you have to go through to get to that yes. But here's the ultimate key. How do you deal with those no's in order to get to your yes? If you knew that it was gonna take 20 no's to get to the yes, would you do what we typically do and get discouraged after we get one of those no's? Because that's typically what happens, right? We'll hit a no and we'll go, ugh, I can't believe that I hit that wall. I can't believe that this obstacle is here. Sometimes we'll allow ourselves to hit the next no and the next no, but there comes a point in time where you get so discouraged that you just give up and you don't push any further and you let the passion fizzle. But what if you knew that there were 20 no's, let's say, in order to get to that yes, when you got through the first no, the first obstacle, you have two choices at that point. Do you say, ugh, and pull out your Eeyore syndrome like I've done in the past? Oh, woe is me. I just had an obstacle put in front of me. I'm the victim. Or do you say, woo, that is one check off that. Now I only need 19 more no's to get to that yes. Now you've turned something that could potentially be so discouraging and so deflating into an encouragement, a push, a passion to get to the next one and to get to the next one. Do you think that runners, track people that are in competition, go over that first hurdle and it catches their foot on the way over and it knocks down. Do they stop? Or do they go to the next hurdle and jump over that one? Maybe that one gets knocked down. No, they keep going and they keep going and eventually they make it over that hurdle because the practice of the passion of the push gets them over the hurdle and there is their yes. How amazing is that perspective? How amazing is that way of viewing life and viewing those no's that will come in front of you? We don't know how many no's it's gonna take to get to that yes. And if you've ever read the book, Three Feet From Gold, this is a perfect example. Are you going to quit knowing that you are three feet away from the gold? 
no, you're not gonna quit. You're gonna keep digging that three feet. Well, what if you don't know? Here's that struggle. What if you don't know that you're three feet away? Maybe you're 10 feet, maybe you're only half a foot. Are you gonna give up? Are you gonna quit? I hope not, I hope not. What if it takes 20 no's to get to your yes? Are you gonna push through all 20 and glorify and celebrate the yes once you get there? There are gonna be many, many, many closed doors that you have to pass through in order to get to the open door. If you believe in a higher entity, the no's are our experiences. The no's are what allow us to become his or your entity's best teachers. I've said this before. Every experience we have, whether it is good or bad, is so that we can become his best teachers. Those no's are, are our experiences. We gotta go through them. We gotta. And the pain and the fear will come from how you react to those no's. You've heard of go for no. Go for no is a book that's out there. Andrea and Rick, I forget, I think it's Andrea Waltz or Rick Waltz. And they wrote a book called Go for No. And in the direct sales industry, the average is eight no's before you get a yes. Eight contacts before you get a yes. If you were to check those off as you go and you were speaking to one person, it takes eight times of communication to make a decision most on average. So if you talk to someone five times and they said, you know, I, I'm just not ready or no, I don't want to do this. Would you stop knowing that the average is eight and you only had three more connections to make with them? Maybe three more questions that you need to ask, maybe three more obstacles that you need to help them get over? Would you stop? I want you to view your life and your business with that perspective. That you must go through no's in order to get to the yeses. You must go through closed doors multiple times before you get to the open door. An example in the corporate world is there was this older gentleman who had been with the company for about eight years, 10 years maybe, and a manager position, supervisor position became available. And he thought for sure that he was, it was in the bag for him because of his tenure, his experience, his age, everything was lined up. He knew the job like it was the back of his hand. And they ended up giving it to somebody younger and less qualified. Now he had two choices to get extremely upset about the fact that they passed him over for that raise and for that promotion. Or he could say, there's a no. There's gotta be a better plan. Everything happens for a reason, so I must own this and be okay, celebrate that person's success and, and promotion, and know that there's another no that might come my way, but maybe just maybe I'm on my last no and a yes is coming. That's exciting for him to know that there's a potential that the yes is the next one. Two years later, the vice president stepped down and they hired that man as the VP of the company. Much higher level than the supervisor he could have been two years prior. What if your yes is like next? What if what if it's the next one? Don't give up, guys. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't get discouraged. Understand that these no's are the path to your yes. When you're driving on a highway, there are multiple no's 
before you get to your exit. There are multiple exits that you will say no to that are not the right exit for you before you get to your exit. Don't take the wrong exit. And don't get discouraged when you see an exit go by and say, wow, that's not mine. No, it's not. When it's yours, you'll know. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.